can he make it three for three? He won his heat, he won his semi-final where he's got company. Bassett of America, disadvantage now on the outside of that lane one. Jareen Richards doing everything he can to hold on to this world indoor title. The 2022 season was thus far the best season I've ever had in my life. From being the World Indo Champion to double Commonwealth Gold Champion and defending the title from 2018. This was a season full with blessings. Going into the World Indo Championships, I was definitely a man with intent and I had a firm goal, but I told myself that I have to run the first 200 to get the break so that I'll be successful in this race. Ran the first 200 as hard as I could. Came around the turn, was pushing down the back stretch. I didn't feel nobody on me yet. At this point, 100 meters to go. I just remember this is the home stretch. Give all the energy you could give, give all the force you could give, and just run through this line. How much will this mean to Jareen Richards? He's smashed the championship record, by the way. It definitely had its struggle in periods this year. Um, it was a hard mental blow and uh, just a difficult period to deal with the passing of the Lendo. Something to this day still doesn't feel real to me. It was the supreme performance from Jareem Richards. He joins Alan Wells and Don Quarry as the only men in history to successfully defend this title. That is exalted company. Heading into this Commonwealth Games, for me, it felt like a race that I had to wait four years to run again. I was Commonwealth Games champion in the 200 meters, but that is not the way you want to win as an athlete. You don't want to win by default. So although I was champion, I had to live four years of my life um, feeling that I really didn't get the job done the way I wanted to get it done. Is it going to be Richard's night once more? The defending champion, the world indoor champion over 400 meters, he might not get out as quickly as Hughes, but watch to see if he can close him down in the last 50. Everything worked in line the way I wanted it to, to work. My start was perfect. Um, my stride pattern was perfect. My steps were lining up the way I wanted to line up. At the top of the turn, I was already leading. I didn't see nobody. I didn't feel no one on the inside. I didn't see nobody on the outside because I had already covered the competition. And in the home straight, that is the part that I, I work best. And Richards is up. Hughes is under real pressure here. Jareen Richards driving for the line, storming to victory. It's gold to the Trinidadian, silver to Hughes. And 19.80, that is absolutely sensational. To win, that was to me one of the best wins this season. Um, a lot of reasons because around 1980, that was a personal best, around the Commonwealth Games record, but for me, it was just being able to win the way I wanted to win. Also, fast forward to the 4x4. When I was asked to run last leg, I just said, well, okay, well, if you all have the faith and belief in me that I'm able to execute and bring this team home to victory, then I should have it in myself too. Trinidad and Tobago, Botswana battling for the gold medal. Kenya have come into the bronze medal position, passing Jamaica, but Jareem Richards, Easy as you like, 301.30, a brilliant run by the 
Trinidad and Tobago team. They were set up perfectly. Yeah, um, Miss Nana. You never expect them to go do this. Right time, um, I know. <laughs> Just want the people to know, say, oh, thank you for everybody. Powerful than ever before. Hey, said I'll be going like yesterday. Mama I'm coming better than before. Experience a lot along the way, and them the things I remember best more. How am I think about the world of your fault? How am I think about Kima? I know much friend me lost, so the hell me fit forget the past. Me tell them I reach too far, forgive so me now go back home. Track and field isn't an easy sport, but if you have dreams, work towards it. It's not gonna be easy. There's gonna be times where you struggle. I was, wasn't the fastest person. Um, I had to work very, very hard to where I'm at, I'm at today. The sad thing is, it looks easy when you see someone run fast because you don't see the work, you don't see the time, you don't see all the time they, they, they put in and the time they sacrifice to, to get where they are today, but they see the result. Commonwealth Games was a blessing and um, I just really appreciate the blessings that I had this year on and off the track. Yeah.